A Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Let respect the salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. This is your fellow servant Malachi, coming in from the GMS Temple Bay Church. I'm gonna go ahead and just get into a you know a short lesson, you know, here in the parking lot, you know, just leaving the store, all right, you know, just getting some things for the house. And you know, I'm here, you know, GMS Temple Bay, all right, and we know that the um <clears throat> the Super Bowl, all right, it's 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 gonna be here with uh, within a couple of days. All right, so with all of these uh, uh things going on here and especially in Tampa, you got the people out here bugged out even more. All right, so when you're out here, all right, you have to walk with wisdom, all right, because these people that's out here, they don't know what the hell is going on, all right. It's so much focus on the Super Bowl and the coronavirus, to like on, on the Crown Royal, all right. So many different things is going on to keep these people minds are far off from really what's going on, all right. So this is why when you're here, all right, you have to walk with wisdom. All right. And these people, they profess their foolishness because you see it when they're out here and they're driving the cars. All right. They're in a rush. They're blowing the horns. All right. These people out here, just they, they always in a rush for something. All right. And therefore, this is why it always leads to to someone probably either getting hurt or someone getting killed. All right. So while you're out here and you got this truth. All right. It's hey, you just got to walk with wisdom out here. All right. And you got to be balanced in that as well. All right. Knowing when to speak and knowing when not to speak. All right, so this is the book of Proverbs 11. We're going to start at verse 1. Uh, we can just, yeah, we can just start 1 and verse 2. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. All right, so if you in this truth, this is going to be the Lord uh, 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 grooming you to be a well balanced person. All right, in judgment, all right, in decisions, uh, decision making, all right, and things that you just need to be doing, especially when you're hearing this truth. All right, so the Lord, when you first come into this truth, the Lord is not, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're not going to have, you're going to be, you're going to, we're just going to point Blake, say it, you're going to be that super duper uh, Israelite, all right, having that, 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 that real, real zeal, all right, but not really having that, uh, that wisdom, all right, as the Lord uh, starts to groom you, all right, and starts to uh, teach you as the, the longer that you're in this truth, all right, so it says, but a just weight is his delight. All right, so the Lord, he delights in you, in his uh, in His elect, all right? So he's going to put you on a balanced beam, all right? So that, therefore, you're going to be able to make the right decisions all the time, all right? Because you're going to be, that's going to be you walking in the spirit, all right? So it says, when pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom, all right? The humble, the meek, the lowly, all right? The Lord is going to give the wisdom unto them. All right, so that they're able to walk around in this damn uh, uh, this damn place. All right, because these people that's out here, they coming up uh, to the car. All right, trying to sell you T-shirts. All right, trying to sell you like tickets to the game. And I mean, look, this ain't the time for us to be all in that uh, in that folly mode. All right, because anything can just pop off, especially around this time. All right, this is why you got to be circumspect. You got to be looking. All right, you got to be watching. All right, because the day is here, man. It's evil, man. All right, so let's jump to the uh, book of Proverbs 12 and 23. It says, A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. All right, so here it is. We're walking with wisdom, all right, to these people because these people are without wisdom. All right, they got the uh, the wisdom of this world. This is why you see them acting like little children out here, all because of a, just a damn football game. All right, it says, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. All right, they always speaking foolishness, man. They always want to talk. All right, for no damn reason, and not uh, 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 exhorting or uh, even trying to lift someone up. It's always foolishness. All right, and this, going into this Super Bowl, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's it's just nothing but foolishness and, and, and folly. All right, this is the stuff that Esau Edom has set up, and the people are just is taken by it. All right, but it's not be gonna it's not gonna be taken by the men of the Lord. All right, the elect. All right, it says uh, twenty four. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. 
All right, so it's going out to these people that's out here. They're going to be slothful, man. They are slothful. All right, they're not abounding in the work of the Lord of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so why would we go out there and keep professing uh, uh, this, this true knowledge unto these people? All right, and, and, and they won't they won't accept it. They're just foolishness. So we go out there on the highways and hedges just to give them the warning. All right, now when they get the warning and they hear and they take heed, now we can go a little bit deeper. All right, with them. But you keep giving them the warning and showing them that they're Israel and they're not getting it, man. We ain't finna keep tossing our pearls to you damn swine that's out here, man. All right, so let's jump to um, uh, Salakia. Proverbs 12 and mm, Salakia. Give me a second. Uh, Proverbs 12. I was just reading this earlier. Um, oh, 13. It says, whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. All right? So a lot of these people out here, they're about to get destroyed because they don't have the wisdom of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? They want to be condoned, all right, in their uh, folly. All right? It says, but he that feareth the commandment, so like, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. All right? And that's going into the elect. All right? So you, uh, uh, and it's not nothing wicked if you want to go ahead and watch the football game. But it's a hey, remember the times that you're in. Anything can pop off at any time while this, while everybody's distracted. That's gonna be the time when the Lord can just bring sudden destruction. All right, you already got the military uh, uh, already uh, uh, deployed as, as out, out out here. All right, you already have um, right here in Tampa. You already have uh, 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 the, the U.S. Uh, 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 what is it? The U.S. Air Force Base right here in Tampa. All right, you got. People having drills with the helicopter, you see them all in the sky. Look, man, it's, anything can happen, all right, around this time with the Super Bowl. All right, sudden destruction, man. These people thinking peace and safety, they're out here want to go buy drinks and, and have fun, but the Lord's about to destroy them. All right, so it says 13 again, uh, Proverbs 13 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. And that's going to the elect. We will be rewarded. All right? So let's jump to the book of Colossians um, 4. We're going to start at verse 2. It says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. All right? So, hey, be thankful that you got this truth. All right? But at the same time, hey, be watchful. Look. All right? It says... Uh, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving with all praying also for us going out to the elect it says that the most high would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Hamashiach for which I am also in bonds all right so it says uh, 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 basically when we um when we get this truth out all right give it to those who, who have the wisdom all right don't cast your pearls before swine the rest of these people out here, they're liking unto swine, man. Okay? It says, praying also for us, because we out here, we're praying for the elect, that the elect get it, and that the elect be sealed, all right, so that we can get the hell up out of here. It says, that the Most High would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Hamashiach, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. All right, so when we speaking, all right, we speaking to those who are with wisdom, all right, because we speak to these other people out here, they're not going to get it. All right, so the Lord, we give them the warning, but guess what? They don't even got the wisdom to even understand to see that the times that they're in. All right, so it says that I may, uh, so like it, verse four, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the times. All right, so redeeming the time, man. This ain't the time to be trying to get in a fight with nobody or getting so damn drunk, all right? Because you want to go and, and celebrate because the damn uh, Super Bowl's around the corner. No, man, look at, man, be circumspect because anything can happen. Anything can happen. Verse 5, walk in wisdom toward, the, toward them that are without redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that, you, that ye... So like that you may know ye ought to answer every man. All right. So you're going to have to use wisdom, especially walking out here. All right. Because these, <laughs> hey, man, these people out here through, man, they gone, man. They don't want to listen. They just, they, they, they just out of here. All right. Um, 
Let me see that. Uh, what was that? Ephesians. Yeah, it's the book of Ephesians. And we can just close out on this. I don't want to make the lesson too long, but Ephesians 5. So like it. What's it? Walk circumspect. I think it's okay. Yeah, Ephesians five and verse fifteen. It says, "See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise." All right, because you're gonna have to be wise. All right, especially out here because of the times that we're in. All right, a time of trouble. All right, the trouble is at hand. It's knocking at the door. It's at any moment. All right. It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Look, be uh, circumspect. Watch, the days are evil. While everybody else is, uh, you know, in la-la land, the Lord is saying, hey, be ready, get ready. All right, be balanced. All right, as I was stating earlier, be balanced. All right, in your judgment, your decisions. All right, how you speak to people out here because... Hey, it's coming to the time when uh, the scripture goes into uh, the love of many shall wax cold. All right. They're going to be ready to put the gun to your head at any moment. All right. The days is so evil. We getting ready to that point. All right. It says redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. All right. We understand what the will of the Lord is. And it is uh, ultimately to destroy this place, this whole system. All right. Everything, all the folly, everything. All right. All the different philosophies, everything in this world, the Lord is ready to destroy all of that. So this is the time for you to be walking in wisdom. All right. Uh, uh, being circumspect, uh, watching. All right. This is the times that we in. Um, that, that says, uh, we can read verse 18. It says, and be not drunk with wine, meaning the different stuff that's going on that's uh, happening right now. The Super Bowl. All right, you so tuned into what the news is saying about the uh, Crown Royal. All right, you ain't really like you you looking a little bit, but you're not digging into it. What what, what you're supposed to be doing? You're not well balanced. Most people they just want to go straight to work and just come home and party, and that's all they're gonna be left up to. All right, that's foolishness. That's not wise. All right, this is why a lot of these unwise fools out here is gonna be destroyed. It says, speaking to your uh, select yet. Verse 18, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit. All right. This is why you got to walk in the spirit, especially in these last days. All right. If you're not walking in the spirit. All right. You're going to get caught up out here with the rest of everybody. All right. And the judgment is going to come straight to you. All right. So it's the time to be be watchful. Look. All right. Because, hey, everybody else is distracted right now. And this is the ultimate plan. All right. For these elites, man, they, they want everybody to be distracted. So therefore, when they go ahead and throw that wrench in that machine, it's going to it's going to shut everything down. It's going to catch everybody off guard. All right. And then we come into them times and what better way to do it right around the time of the Super Bowl. All right. The time you got uh, 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 these vaccines. All right, you got World War Three and stuff going on in the background. All these things is, is leading up. You got the mark of the, uh, so like you got the uh, the chip, all right, which is the mark of the beast. All these things is just is is, is building up, all right. It's building up, and we uh, we can see it clearly. If you got eyes to see, you should be able to see it clearly, all right. So a hey, repent, all right, because the judgment is getting ready to come to these people, all right, getting ready to come to two thirds of our people. All right, which is uh, which goes out to you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. It's the time to repent. All right. If not, you will be caught up out here. And it's because you did not watch. All right. And the Lord says, behold, I come quickly. All right. So the Lord's getting ready to come and he's coming quick and it's right around the corner. So, a a Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Akim and I've walked him. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds. This is your fellow servant Malachi. Shalom.